Hello, welcome back to the channel and way back a year ago. Hello, welcome back to the channel and uh, well, it's not a modern Monday, it's not a Tried Tuesday, it's not a Saturday series, it's just a a special, I suppose, a um, bit of a hype beer at the moment. Um, Brewdog have released Black Heart Draft Stout 4.1%, 440ml can in a four pack, and we've got Guinness Draft Stout 4.1%, 440ml can in a four pack, and then what Brewdog have said is. It wasn't created in 1759. What if it's better? So I've seen a few uh, people have done videos. I've not really watched them, um, but I don't know if I'm, well, I'm doing it differently. Um, I'm going to be putting blindfold on because I want to see if there is a noticeable difference. And it's not just about flavor, it's about mouthfeel. Now, I reckon if I'd see, the, if I see both beers in a glass, I'd probably pick out Guinness quite easily. But I don't know, may not. It'd be interesting when I take the blindfold off and have a look at them. But I've got a feeling it might. Um, but I'm more about the mouthfeel, the flavour, kind of pick Guinness out compared to the Brew Dog Black Art. Is the Brew Dog Black Art tasty? We all know what Guinness is like. Guinness for me is an easy drinking, straight down the road stout. On draft stout, in the can, sorry, it's a little bit, yes, the, the nitro makes it feel a bit creamy. But it's actually quite light bodied. Um, so I don't know if Brewdog is going to be the same because obviously it's a draft uh, stout. Um, I do prefer Guinness, the flavour of Guinness, in Guinness original bottle. I think that's got a better flavour. But for mouthfeel, um, the draft, you can tell straight away. And like I say, it's quite, dare I say, it's thin. It's quite a thin body for me. So it's going to be interesting. Um, Guinness draft. Four cans from Tesco, £4.75. The Brewdog Black Art, four cans, £5 or £1.75 a can single. So we're talking 25 pence difference between the Guinness and the Brewdog for the four pack. And yeah, that's all really I can say. And there is other Guinness styles out there. There's a Sergio one. Uh, there's a Guinness original, but I think the best comparison is going to be Draft Stout compared to Draft Stout, both in a can. And Mrs. B is going to pour them for me. You'll see the pour. I'll speed that up a little bit, but I will be having this on uh, throughout the tasting for a little bit longer uh, before I actually take the blindfold off. And whilst I've got the blindfold on, I'll say which one I prefer as well on flavour. So let's let's... First of all, need to unpack these. We'll get a can and then we'll come back. Okay, so cans are now outside, outside, taken out of the box. And you can sit just side by side, you can see that uh, Brewdog are really taking on Guinness with the look of the can. The gold, the black, the matte black colour. The difference is actually silver for the Brewdog, gold for the Guinness. And you just like you say, it's just that the shield is there for the brew dog. You've got the harp, you know, the font, the text. It's just very, very similar. It really is. Um, what I have noticed as well, is, well, it's got 21st century stout on there as well. And this one obviously is brewed while well, the brewery is 1759, but there's a slight height difference. And it doesn't seem to be any difference in that way but the height. So I don't know if that's something to do with the widget in there, but they're both 440 mil cans, but the Brewdog one just stands a little bit proud. Can you see that? Stands a little bit prouder. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be honest, Guinness stands out. You know that's a Guinness by looking at the can. That harp, you know, everyone knows that's Guinness. And the Brewdog, the shield, you know, the, the, the little dog, but it does look smart. I give it a, it is a smart take. Um, I'm surprised that, uh, or I'm actually thinking, you know, maybe Aldi or Lidl will do this. I think it's Aldi that do try and do like the, uh, 
can I say, rip-off versions of other brands. So I won't be surprised in a year if I'm going Guinness, um, Brewdog, Aldi for the Nitro Stout, well, the Draft Stouts. So let's crack on. So Mrs. B's going to pour these and then we're going to get the blindfold on. Okay, so I'm going to put the blindfold on and Mrs. B's going to pour the cans and then see what I can get from it. Now, what I'll do, I'll speed this bit up as well so you're not having to watch us do this. Okay, so this is Bees Pardon. I'm gonna have a drink of water. Give that to you, Mrs. B. I don't know whether. Okay, so they're in front of me, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Uh there you go. Right, so do a smell. Do, do, do get the aroma first, obviously. Hopefully I'm <laughs> I can't even tell you to put my nose into it. Is it right up or have I got a bit of room? What do you mean? Have I got a bit of room or is it head yeah, up to no, the got a bit of room. Okay. Okay, so blind take, uh, take well, even blind smell. That's, that's got hints of roasted coffee. Definitely getting roasted malts on that, on the nose on that one. It smells quite nice. Honestly, it's quite inviting. I'll just put this one down. Go around this way, so left hand. Now this one, I'm not getting much aroma. Very, very, very slight aroma there. And it's just, it's not as intense as the one in the right hand. So it's just a light, light roast. But this one was more dark, coffee roasty. This one's a bit, definitely 100% lighter in aroma. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that one. So for me, for aroma, this one for sure, for aroma. So let's go. So I'll try this one. For taste first and mouthfeel. That's the, that's one of the things. It's mouthfeel. Cheers. Now to me, that was when I was saying Guinness before. Guinness has got this really light mouth, light, light body to it. Not very intense, easy drinking. You can imagine sessioning on that. That to me, that one, just going off that taste and that mouthfeel being really quite thin I'd say that's Guinness but I have no idea so aroma better on this but I'm thinking now that's Guinness because of the mouthfeel but I've never had the brew dog stout so I don't know if that's the same does Guinness smell a little bit stronger but I'm putting my money at the moment on that being the Guinness because it's got this really light mouthfeel a little bit of irony taste in you know on the back there not too much more in taste and that's what i say about draft guinness i don't think it's got a lot of taste it's just a really easy drink so let's try this one then cheers that roastiness carries over a bit more on this one so it's a bit more there's, a, there's more bitterness there it's not harsh at all but you do feel it on the tongue you're definitely getting a roasty bitterness on the tongue the mouthfeel is a touch, and I mean a touch, better than this one. This one is really quite thin. This one is still really light and thin, but it's slightly better mouthfeel. So there's a little bit more body in there compared to this one. Um, if I'm um, being honest, because of the flavor, I quite like this one more for the flavor. There's just that little bit more going on. Yeah, it's a bit more roasty malt going on there for that one. This one, I'll be honest, after drink after that one and then following that one, it's just just just, just very very light flavour, very really light bodied. So for me, blind tasting, I'd go with this one to drink if I was on you know if I had the option of the two. So 
And I'm thinking, only because that really light body and light flavour, I'm thinking that could be Guinness. But I could be totally wrong because I've not had Guinness for a while. And that could be Guinness. And um, the Brewdog one is basically inferior to it. I don't know. I'll have to uh, ask Mrs. B to put the cans in front of the glasses. So I'm going Brewdog, Guinness. Yeah. Oof. Uh, on look then. So, yeah. You, you you know what Guinness is really light flavored, really light bodied, easy drink. That's why you know it's loved by millions. Um, Brew Dogs has got slightly more flavor and a slight bit more body, and I I preferred that probably because it had that bit more flavor and a bit more body. Now, one twenty five a can, one nineteen it works out. Or 175 if you buy it single. Don't think you can buy Guinness single. So in price, there's not a lot in it. And there's not a massive difference in the, the actual overall beer. Now, this, the brew dog, in my opinion, might be too much, too harsh for the Guinness drinker. Now, I don't think many Guinness drinkers are going to tra transfer over to the brew dog because of that reason. That is a lot easier to drink. It's a neat, it's a lot more sessionable in that in that you can just actually drink that, and you don't have to think about it. This one it asks you a few questions on the palate, and for me, I think that's the difference really. Slightly more flavour, and the question was it is it better? Well, it's still out there, isn't it? Because the loyal Guinness fan is going to stick to that. They're not going to move over to that. But if you was in somewhere that didn't sell Guinness, and he was a Guinness fan, then I'd say definitely give Brewdog Black Heart a go because that is a, it's, a good, it's a good stout. It really is. It's a good stout, the nitro. The looks, you can tell by, if I move the cans out of the way, you can see, I don't know if you can quite pick that up on the camera, that the Brewdog has got more tan where the Guinness has got the white head. Um, the lacing, well, they're both... Both about the same, to be honest. Like I say, the, the mouthfeel, there wasn't a massive difference. I just thought it was like... I'm, I'm talking like 10% more in the, the brew dog. The bitterness, 20% more. And that aroma was actually probably about 50% more aroma than what's in the Guinness. But I think the brew dog will struggle to get people to move over from Guinness, which is like a legend, to drink the Black Heart. But... It's a good alternative, and they've done a great job. They really, really have. If I was in a bar and they had the Black Art, I'd go for the Black Art over the Guinness if both were on because of that slight difference in flavour. Now, I don't know if it says anything at all on the cans. Um, pro probably not. Uh, it's really, really, really tiny writing, so I don't even know. So it says, great beer that's great for the planet. And that's brew dogs, basically what they always say, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's really hard to read anything on there. So I don't know if it's got any ingredients because the writing is tiny. And uh, we know that Guinness, I don't even think they advertise anything like that either. No, no. We all, it's basically everyone sort of knows what Guinness is. So that's my thoughts, really. I think that the uh, Guinness drinker, is still going to enjoy the Guinness. The, you know, that's not a bad alternative, but because I'm used to that, that might be a slightly harsh because of the slight bitterness from that roasted malt that's coming through more than it does on that. And with the colour of the heads, you'd think this probably is more roasted malt, and that's what's giving the colour to that head as well. So, so there you go. So that is Black Art by Brewdog, Guinness Draft Stout, both in a can, very similar in price. Uh, we bought this from Tesco. Like I say, there's, there's pennies in the cans when you buy them in a four pack. So for me, I would go and buy the brew dog, but I quite happily drink the Guinness if the brew dog wasn't available and vice versa. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's get these out of the way. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one. I've been drinking.
dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating